What was it about that first matchup that you were doing? I know you did the pick and roll, was working. What what was it about that you were able to kind of capitalize on? Um, I was when I was aggressive. I just hit my shots, and my teammates were setting me up. They were getting me open. Jay Hill with the back screen and other things. Jay Hill had some great screens that game, and uh, yeah, they opened up a lot of stuff for me. You uh, go ahead. Uh, you uh, you got to the line a lot in that game too. Is that something you uh, you want to focus on? Just kind of drawing contact. Uh, I really, I'm just really focused on going out to Utah and winning, uh, just one game at a time. Chris said that you guys give him a lot of confidence because he feels that you guys want him to shoot. How do you, how do you go about doing that? Um, I mean, I just go about it as I really want him to shoot. And <laughs> I really am, know he's going to hit his shots, and it's no fakeness around it or anything of me trying to just keep him confident. I really believe in him, and I really believe in how he's playing it. He's playing really good right now for us. Do you tell him, like, during the games? Do you talk to him? And, oh, yeah, I'm, all, I'm always on yeah. him. Shoot the next shot. If, you, if he misses one, you pass it up. I'm telling him to shoot it. Because, um, you know, him shooting it, you know, we have a chance for a rebound. It's going to get up there. And uh, he's probably one of our best shooters. So, yeah. as, as, uh, as, a, as the point guard on this team, have you seen him improve his handle with the ball? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, I've seen him improve. What, what has he done? I know he, he's being more confident with yeah. it and not really uh, doing, you know, having bonehead plays like that as much as we all did at the beginning of the season, not just him. So uh, I think everybody's improved their ball handling a little bit because we're, you know, turnovers are coming down and things like that. Coach has talked about young guys look at, worry about the last play, veterans look forward to the next play. Has that been a process for you? Have you had to kind of shut off? Worried about what just happened and, and, and focus on the future. Yeah, but I feel like it just comes with confidence. You know, I'm confident the next play. If something happens, I'm just going to come back and make up for it. Or somebody else on the team, I believe in them, they're going to make up for it. So we're always looking on to the next thing and like coming back and things like that. Uh, yeah. Is there someone on the team that tends to be more vocal during in times of rally or when you guys are down by double digits? Um, I mean, I would like to say I'm pretty vocal all the time, but you know. I feel like everybody on the team is vocal at certain points. Uh, it's not really when we're down or when there's a comeback or things like that. It's just um, when somebody needs it. Because uh, everybody knows how to talk to everybody on the team right now. We're just getting, we just keep getting better and things like that. We're rolling right now. So everybody's listening to everybody. So everybody's voice matters right now. It seemed like the defense triggered those comebacks in the last week. Does that kind of give you the mindset that you need to come out and you have many games come out like that, but you got to bring it from the from the start. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, we see what our defense can do in the second half, and we just need to put uh, put together forty minutes of that defense, and that uh, will be good. Jalen Hill has been pretty consistent uh, for a long period of time, but lately Cody Riley has kind of emerged. How 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 good is it for you as a, as a point guard distributor to have um, two big guys that that you can rely on? It's amazing. You know, I just throw it to them, they'll go get it, and they kind of take care of whatever. It's gonna happen. They're they're smart with the ball. They make the right pass. Um, so you know it's great for me playing. All, I get to play off the ball a little bit when I throw it in there and cut and do things like that. So yeah, it is good and it's good for our team too with them scoring and rebounding like they do. It just instills confidence in the rest of us. You know, seeing them work so hard. What does it do for spacing for the offense when you got guys like David Singleton who are starting to shoot better from off the ball? It opens it up a lot. Uh, it definitely opens up more driving lanes because they can't really help off them as much, but. It also is good finding him and seeing him hit those sweet shots he hit last game. He had some big shots last game. You ever played at altitude before? Uh, I don't think I have. Are you uh, looking forward to it or thinking about it at all? Uh, I'm just looking forward to every game, I'm trying to go out there and win every game for my team and my coach. You talked to like any training staff about how to adjust the altitude or anything? I haven't, honestly. Uh, that might be something I do now, but <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about it too much. Thanks, Thanks, Thanks Tony. Yeah, Thank you. Definitely. Chris has been, you know, a huge part in our success as of late. And, you know, in the beginning of the year, um, he's been playing great at a very high level right now. You know, he's been making sure everyone's locked in and engaged. And, you know, he, he's been great so far. He said that you guys actually give him confidence. Yeah. Uh, how do you give him confidence? Uh, I mean, I just tell him, you know, when he's hot, just keep shooting the ball. And, you know, I know Jalen and Cody tell him to shoot the ball because they know, you know, when he shoots it, we're going to get his rebounds. So, you know, he shoots it, he, he's not scared to miss because we're going to get his rebounds, you know, and it goes for anybody on the team, you know, whether it's Dave, Jake, me, shooting a three, you know, we know those guys, if we miss, they're going to more than likely get the rebound.
Well, they've got some mountains down around Santa Margarita, but probably mm -hmm. nothing like uh, Utah. Yeah. Uh, have you ever played at altitude before? Uh, yeah. So, and well, I played for in Colorado Why before. Is Oh, no, 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 yeah. I played in Mexico City when I was there. You know, it's very high altitude, higher than Colorado um, or Utah. But, you know, I, I, play, I played there. So, you know, it should be, it's always an adjustment at first getting there. But I think, you know, we're going to be all right, especially spending the day, you know, spending the night there. Will you use some of that information to help out the rest of the team? Yeah, like definitely. I think it's there? just, you know, just make sure you stay hydrated and, you know, just understanding, you know, how the altitude affects your body and things like that. But I'm sure we're going to be fine. Got some mountains around Camarillo too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, got some mountains. Around, right. Yeah, Camarillo. We got some hills and mountains and things like that. Yeah, uh, uh, some defensive pushes in the second half that kind of aided in your comeback efforts. Do uh, you think that has to do with uh, like endurance, maybe that you have a leg up over the other team? Um, yeah, I think you know we're, we're in shape right now. Uh, you know, late as of late, you know, the last two games, uh, we started off slow a little bit, and then in the second half, you know, we we really started to pick it up. You know, I think it's part because we run every day in practice. Uh, we run our plays, we run up and down, practice our fast breaks. So running out every day in practice is a huge thing to you know keep us in shape. What kind of mindset do you have knowing that uh, you, you've been in like Oregon and Arizona, two tough environments? Uh -huh. um, what, what 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 mindset do you have going into Utah and Colorado, two tough uh, teams? Um, you know, the same mindset. We played in some tough uh, arenas, and you know every, every away game is really tough, especially you know they got their home crowd and things like that, something they're used to when we're not. So this, the mentality that we have is just going to go in there and uh, try to cancel out the noise and just you know play our game, play play hard, get rebounds, play defense, and go the other way and try to score some baskets. So that's our mentality, pretty much. And the team really need kind of a comeback during games like the last these last two weekend games. Is there anyone on the team that kind of enforces that rallyness? Um, I would say our coach, you know, coach at halftime, you know, he really gets us going, really gets us fired up to play the second half after both, uh, during both Washington games, you know, second half, the, you know, pre-game, pre-game, or pre-second half was, uh, it, it was a lot of talk and a lot of things what we need to fix and adjust, and, you know, we get fired up to play the second half because, you know, first half doesn't matter what the end of the game matters. Is there anything he says specifically to you guys that kicks it in? Uh, he just gets, he's just, let's go get him. He, you know, he's very, in, you know, inspiring in the way he talks to us and gets us fired up. He get, he, he knows how to get our team fired up. What, what kind of growth have you seen in uh, Chris Smith, uh, particularly this year? Um, I mean, the growth of Chris Smith, when I first got here, he was my roommate, you know, and uh, just to see who he's become today, you know, how much more serious he is about the game, you know, just how more on point he is about his work ethic and everything all around has been a tremendous improvement. Yeah, it's great to see. He said that uh, he, he uh, doesn't like to go out a lot. Is that true? Oh, yeah. He, he's a homebody like me. You know, kind of <laughs> just chill, relax, stay on the feet, play video games, and watch basketball, you know, not doing too much. What do you guys play? Uh, I like to play Call of Duty right now, um, play a little bit of Battlefront of Star Wars. You know, I like to switch it up. The, Go ahead. The last three games specifically, um, you guys have um, improved on defense and offense. You know, what, what, what does coach tell you in halftime to kind of, you know, uh, fire you up uh, for the second half? Um, he tells us, you know, they're, they're shooting a high field goal percentage, you know, whether that's 40 or 50. And, that, you know, that's not acceptable when we're going to lose the game if we continue to let them do that. So, you know, that kind of is enough right there because as a team, we want to win at the end of the day. So. That's all he has to say for us to come out and do a better job. Your recent scoring around the basket, has that been a result a lot about footwork and, 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 and improving that so that you can maneuver around guys? Yeah, I feel like it's just uh, more experience, you know, more game time experience. Uh, just learning to slow down, take my time, and use my strength to my advantage. Who's been helping you with that? Um, Coach Savino. Yeah, Coach Savino works with the post guys in practice. Um, after practice, you know, always telling me to use my shot face, slow down, be patient, and uh, use my strength. It's often, um, you know, coach has either you or Jalen in, in the game, but uh, how, how is it when both of you are um, in the game at the same time? Do you guys uh, try to, try to uh, give each other space and, and, and to work out uh, your area? Yeah, no, it's, for, it's great. I mean, I love playing with Jalen on the court. Um, we feed off each other a lot. You know, Jalen brings a lot of energy. I bring a lot of energy. Um, we're both talking to guys on the court. 
like if he blocks a shot, you know, I get super hyped for him. Um, we're always working, working out together. So whenever he does something really well on the court, you know, I'm super excited for him and it's vice versa. I always see him the first one on the bench chair for me or at any time whenever I do something good also. You played at Utah and Colorado last year. Was the altitude, does that require any adjustment? Oh uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's for sure a lot different. You know, I remember playing out there last year and, you know, it affects your breathing, but it just takes a little bit of time to adjust to it. Do you have to do anything different, hydrate more or uh, take more breaks? Or? Uh, yeah, just try to make sure we get a lot of fluids. You know, that's what our, our strength and conditioning was. And, um, you know, Shane, everybody tries to make sure that we have a lot of water in our system and Gatorade. You guys started conference play one and three and have since gone uh, seven and two. What has been some of, some of the main factors that have contributed to that? Uh, I feel like our, our defense has improved. And then besides that, I feel like we're uh, just playing better overall as a team. You know, everybody else is uh, improving and stepping up when they need to. And I feel like that's going to be big down the stretch. Going back to Chris, you noticing the changes in him. What are some examples of those changes? Does he come to practice early? Does he stay later? Um, it's just seeing him more focused. You know, Chris is, Chris is really young. I know he left high school early. So um, it's just a focus thing with him. You know, the sky's the limit as long as he wants to put his mind to it. And uh, that's going to come with maturity. So it's, it's great to see. He's kind of a kind of a goofy, fun-loving guy, though, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's real upbeat, always smiling, happy. Um, yeah, he's a great guy. What does it do for you when Jalen's in, or even when he's not, when you have Jaime and Chris who are good rebounders? What does that do for you when you're trying to box out and trying to rebound, I guess? As far as, say that one more time, with Jay, we'll having Jalen in with me? Uh, yeah, because well, you got a, a lot of good rebounders around you no matter what the lineup is. What does that do for you uh, as a rebounder? How do you kind of plan for having good teammates uh, for rebounding too? Uh, yeah, I feel like, I mean, I feel like it's great, you know, to know that, you know, me and Jalen are really the post guys, you know, so we work mm -hmm. together a lot, like I said. So when we're in the game together and I look over my shoulder and I see him, you know, down there fighting, scrapping with me, uh, you know, that's a great fun to have. Thanks. 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 Thanks.